Anyone who filmed in very dim light conditions will understand how useful it is to have clean image. In most cases, image will be noisy, with information lost in the shadows and bright lights getting overexposed. Even most expensive smartphones try to deal with it by computational tricks, but still, this is not enough. No matter how expensive your Samsung or iPhone is, initial image will have lots of noise and lack of details. You can beat raw performance in terms of image quality. Cameras with larger sensor will always be superior, but sometimes not as convenient and easy to use. I want to test DJI Pocket 3 in low light conditions. This is the last torture test that I want to conduct before my full review of this unit. Osmo Pocket 3 has dedicated low light mode. I want to see difference in noise and dynamic range on several ISO levels, as well as overall image quality and slow motion. Let's start with basic ISO testing. Shutter speed will always be 1 and 50. 200 ISO. Image is very dark, but all the highlights are safe. ISO 400. 800 ISO. This is a sweet spot. Image is good and highlights are still safe. 1600. It represents what my flash eye saw this day. But this is where we can see highlight starts to clip. 3200 ISO, still more than usable, but highlights and details starts to fall apart. 6400, this is the part where I do not recommend to shoot in high dynamic range scenes. 12800 ISO, and we can go even higher. Sixteen thousand ISO and even higher. This is the last settings for ISO. Of course, image is not good, but this is miles better than no image at all. If you found yourself in pitch black conditions, you still can feel something. For YouTube, this is more than enough. Not even some large cameras with bad signal to noise ratio can give such a nice result. 1 also want to compare how log image compares with low light mode in 3200 ISO. That is maximum you can go in the log mode. Still, I see that 1600 is maximum I would go in normal light conditions and 800 ISO is a sweet spot. 3200 is where you really start to see noise and higher, you will want to use some noise reduction. But for YouTube and social media, it is very very usable and convenient. I like it. I found myself using 4K 120 frames per second at night a lot. I like this mode. Small noise reduction in post will give very nice results. I find my small ZV-10 almost ugly and unusable in such walk and talk vlog style conditions despite better image quality. And I do not want to deal with large full-frame cameras, for example, when I am filming inside a mall. And do not want to call the police every time to deal with dumb security guards that are stupid enough not to understand the meaning of the world public place. These pocketable cameras are stealth and I look like normal wild Instagram species that blend with surroundings. As for the minuses, I find coatings on the Pocket 3 got worse from the previous ones. It gets lots of layers and light leaks. Automatic noise reduction is somewhat aggressive and gives lots of ghosting in slow motion. Sometimes, when light is harsh, d M got some weird problems with DJI's Rec 709 LUT. I even had to make my own fix on my Buy Me A Coffee page to get a better start in such situations. Otherwise, I see only positives from using this new device in low light conditions. See you in the full review video.